Okay, guys. Uh, very disheartening uh, game out there tonight. I uh, had a chance at the end, obviously, to tie the game up. And uh, had a couple two-point plays there and um, didn't execute what we wanted to get done there on that final two-point play. Uh, disappointed in uh, the outcome. Appreciate the players' fight. Um, and uh, they certainly did that. They, there was two minutes and 18 seconds left or whatever there was, four minutes and 40 seconds left when we got the ball back. We had a two-minute and 32-second drive, I believe it was, to go get that touchdown. Um, our defense did a good job of uh, getting a lot of stops tonight. Uh, we can't turn the ball over three different times. One was for a touchdown. One was a comeback uh, or a corner route that we left inside on a bootleg on first down. Cannot do that. And um, that led to, uh, you know, we just had to make a change at that point in time. The uh, defensively, they got three takeaways off of NAU's offense. The ball was on the ground two other times. Um, and we didn't nearly uh, make any, many, enough points from those takeaways. I think we only got a field goal from those takeaways. So C. Rowe had a great one. Kenny had a great one. I think Trey uh, might have knocked one out. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, very, very disappointing. Credit to NAU. They came in here. They battled. They had a good plan. They ran a... They, they did a lot of good things. They stayed with it. They made a great play on an interception um, with a minute 48 in the first half uh, that ended up resulting in a touchdown when we're up 13 nothing, And um, that really hurts. That really hurts. And, and our, our players are hurting right now. We got a very upset locker room. We got guys that, you know, are, are really, uh, re really upset. Uh, we let NAU celebrate. Uh, they got their win. They, uh, you know, we didn't feel the need to be out there at that point in time, uh, let them enjoy their moment. And um, congratulations to Coach Ball. But we got our work cut out for us, and we got to get back to work immediately. Michael. You uh, talk, talk often about learning how not to lose when you win. Tonight, a good example of that. Yeah, there, there's no question. I mean, we, we yeah, we, 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 have, we have situations in the game that we have to do better at. I mean, we have, you know, we, we have to understand down and distance better. We have to understand field position better. We have to understand when to take shots, when not to take shots, when to take sacks, when not to take sacks, when you, you know, obviously the turnovers are just brutal, when to take a chance, when not to take a chance. Um, there's so much learning that has to occur. And, um, you know, we have to try to fast forward the learning. We have to fast forward the learning. We have to figure out a way to keep keep pushing it so we understand it better and we keep building off of what we're trying to get done. Yeah, we, you know, we had some good drives this game. We had some opportunities, but when we turn the tape on, uh, I think we're all going to be very frustrated on the opportunities that we missed. And that was uh, really hard. I think the defense, you know, the defense should have had a shutout in the first half. We throw an interception for a touchdown. They had all the momentum. Uh, our defense, they were taking the ball away three different times, three different series. They were getting stops. Our defense were playing with great passion. We had a couple penalties that cost us, and those are really hard penalties. I mean, the the Mo Diallo play, I mean, I, I don't know. I You know, I guess he got his helmet there, and that caused the targeting. That looked, you know, that's a tough one. Jackson Turner's playing free safety. There's a dig route. He comes in. He's got to get lower. Uh, and, you know, that costs us there. A couple penalties. But those guys played with great effort. Jackson played unbelievable tonight. He was all over all over the field. He was totally committed to having a great game, as was Mo. I, I think our defense did a lot of good things tonight. Uh, obviously, we have to get stops um, in the second half. Um, and, uh, we, we've got to be better. We get, we can't turn the ball over that led to a touchdown and then they drove the ball on us and that led to a touchdown. And both of those were, uh, were critical. Uh, for disgruntled fans or more players who are kind of disappointed with the loss, what's just kind of your message to them right now? So are we, we're very disappointed with the loss. We're not, uh, we don't accept losing. We are not, uh, in this, uh, working as hard as we work to lose. Um, and we have to be better and we're working to be better. And we're sitting here right now in a situation where we're trying to build this thing, um, you know, playing uh, games that uh, we, we need to we need to kind of come up with some wins and we need to compete and we need to keep battling. And we had a chance there to tie this game up. But, 
you know, we've got to also stay the course. And we also have to understand that we're in a situation here where we're trying to build something special for the long haul. And it's not to build it for one night. It's to build it for the entire time um, that we're all together. And that's going to be for a very long time to try to get this thing right. But doing that, we're going to go through some bumps and bruises early on. Hey, along those lines, just all the goodwill that you did this, this nine months, do you think that's, this is hurt? I hope not. I don't think treating people right should be affected by whether or not uh, we were able to come out with the outcome we wanted. I, I hope that reaching out to our community and reaching out to our former players and to our alumni and, and bringing back uh, some of the great ones that we have here would ever affect um, what we're trying to get accomplished. We are in year one, game three of a 12 game season and of a, trying to build something over time here. And with that being said, yeah, of course, we're always going to be frustrated when the outcome is not what we want it to be. But we also recognize that we're going to try to see the forest through the trees and not get caught up in one game. Michael. Um, your assessment of Will Plummer's play and then also where we're headed with the quarterback position. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, there, were, there were some plays that Will made that were, were good plays. And, um, but, but the biggest thing for the quarterback position is until we can start understanding what we're trying to get done on each play call, it's going to cause us um, a lot of consternation and a lot of change. And that's what I'm going to have to talk to all three of those guys about, that we have to understand the first play that Jordan went in on was a bootleg to the right, and he ended up to the left 12 yards away. Um, you know, we can't, and then took a sack, and it's next thing, it's second and 20. With Will, we have, it's third and 18 with 34 seconds left in the half, and we're running a post and an in cut and we have a chance to throw the post and we throw the in cut for six yards. You know, we have to, we have to understand what we're trying to get done here. We have to have a better idea on play callers purpose so we can take some of these shots when they present themselves. We got to do a better job with helping these guys out. We're going to do a better job with them. Um, we also understand there's a lot of experience that's lacking. Um, you know, in that position room, you're talking about freshmen, you're talking about red shirt freshmen, you're talking about, um, Jordan had just arrived and we've got to do a good job of trying to expedite them and but we got to play games and when you play games against defenses that do some things a little bit different you've got to find a way to um, to be able to handle that and that's what I was talking about in regards to knowing all the situations and knowing what's going on in the games and we've got to do a better job there. Um, you guys had I think only 106 yards rushing maybe only 22 in the first half on this point are you that yeah yeah I mean I'm a, I'm obviously Michael very disappointed in all aspects of the game run game being one of them pass game being one of them uh scoring you know we can't keep getting close and not scoring and we've just got to find a way to be better uh, in all phases coaching playing uh and every part of it and we've got to just make make that emphasis to get better and that's what we're going to do we're going to go out there tomorrow and we're going to get it right. And then we're going to uh, give them Monday off. And then we're going to prepare for uh, Oregon Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, get on a plane and go play a football game. Uh, he was coming back from a, an injury that I wasn't, uh, I didn't know if he'd be ready or not. I thought he would be, but uh, he'll be good to go for next week. He just, uh, he got dinged in the uh, last game. Oh, you, know, you know, I, I, I'm tempted, I'm tempted, but I want to make sure I watch the film. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a very frustrating situation, you know, being in this quarterback derby and you don't want to get to the point where it's like, well, how do you ever get into that rhythm? But with that being said, um, we also have to, you know, maybe some experience could help. You know, playing games, starting games could help, but also um, maybe it's time to just, you know, continue to build off of gaining experience. So we'll look at the tape on Sunday and then make that decision. Right, thanks, thanks, guys.